Even you should have seen that coming. But you didn't. Prepare for battle. Well, you want a bold prediction from us? Um, that you guys are wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think um, we've been discussing a little bit. I mean, there's some interesting lanes coming out from these guys. I, I think Virtus Pro have a pretty big advantage in this game, though, Steven. What say you, good sir? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, run little boxy, run to the river, run past the river in fact, he is going to be okay though, they don't have the catch potential. Anyway, back to your prediction. Thirty seconds to battle. Mm -hmm. You're a trusty mate. Rolling out! Wild. The battle begins. Yeah. I think this bottom lane might be a bit of a disaster again for Team Liquid though, because um, this anti mage should have a pretty free time. I don't see how this lane doesn't go exactly the same the last game did. I mean, they've got two purges against nothing which can be purged, right? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, Liquid. Seems like it could be a plan as insane as gonna go in for the uh, creep block. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, save just slowing down the tiny, stopping Tiger from uh, really getting any of its spells off onto this Enchantress. But yeah, some very interesting lanes coming out um, from the side of Liquid as they, they have got Insania bottom and Tiger up at top to be playing that tiny to support Mickey. A nice toss back under the tower there when they're just gonna use the Scatter Blast to get rid of the creeps to make sure the tower target's safe, but still lands onto the creeps. So it takes a decent amount of damage, but still will be absolutely fine as she can harass down Tiger here at the same time. Oh, bottom lane, jump forward onto Insania here. He's going to try and purge himself off, but with no mana left, Athletic Kid, it's actually kind of hurting him because he's not doing that much damage. And Insania is going to be able to get himself back and salve himself up. He's absolutely fine. Lane, have a toss onto the Enchantress, getting her decently low, but Mickey could be the one in trouble here. It's Impetus connects a right click from DM as well, and that is going to be first blood. They had the damage between them. Impetus, man. <laughs> Lively now, your admiral is on board. Scary stuff for GPKS, he's just being bullied out of this lane non stop. I mean, the moment he gets a Jingu stack on him or two, then it's just gonna have to be playing it very, very cautious. But we'll be able to grab a couple of creeps under his tower here, but unfortunately, both the range creeps get taken from him. It. Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. 
Yeah, poor old pirate not really getting a look in on this middle lane currently, but he's gonna try and focus on them creeps. Get himself uh, into the game in that regard. Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. Look at him go. Kind of happy just go and trade some hits with Boxy, and even if Boxy turns around and gets a couple of moments of courage off, as long as he's draining his mana, he's gonna feel pretty good about that one. And Sensania takes a step too far forward to try and get the kill onto the courier, and now he's in some real trouble. Oh, oh that coconut! Ilias, he's feeling lucky today as they bring down Insania. Boxy will be zoned out as well. Meanwhile, Tiny up in the top lane, get it very low to DM and save, but they don't quite have the range to get off that last right click or impetus. So instead, they'll just use it onto Mickey instead. So much damage coming out from these two, though. Yep. Nemo. What? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Uh, do you like his no you ability? He's in some trouble now. Does get the silence off onto the both of them. They're trying to surround him. DM trying to run through the tree. Scatterblast is going to miss. He moves across to the creep wave. They need one more right click. Are they going to find it? They will have a toss available in two seconds. But with save coming in as well, it's a little bit too tricky. Tiger, he really wants it. He really wants to see him, but he doesn't get vision on DM. He's just going to go down. Tiger can't get the kill. And save even feeling a little bit of grass here onto Mickey. They might be able to get this kill. Mickey tries to jump forward onto DM. Doesn't find it. They're both going to die to save. Mr. Tomato Man. Man is too damn strong in the top lane. So they're gonna take them both down. That's a double kill for the Ench. And Liquid gonna be feeling very awkward about that one. DM's so good, dude. Stun out, Boxy in the bottom lane. They throw down the Maledict as well, but. Uh, not going to follow up on this one. Not with Insania backing them up. Too scary. trouble here if Koikfer is able to get off that Jinko and the Battle Strike will finish the job. Meanwhile, Tiger's having some trouble with DM here. DM just right clicking him down the GBK with a nice little two-man torrent here. x Mark comes down to Koikfer as well, dragging him back into that boat. Mickey is in the neighborhood, throws in the cookie, which actually, yeah, well, fair enough then. <laughs> a really nice dodge from the Monkey King. Really nice moves, allows them to TP away, and uh, that's gonna be that. because Boxy never has any mana, so the anti-mage is never really getting that much damage up with uh, mana break. Denied. Yep. If you have no mana, why bother leveling up spells? Let's take your path. Elias dares coming too close to Boxy. Box just runs at him with a creep wave attacking him. Always going to proc the moment of courage. Uh oh, there would he go. Oh, Saved's actually the one who drops as he goes under the tower. Yeah, really nice little toss play there from Tiger. Unfortunately, this creep doing so much damage. Mickey trying to come in and help out with the cookie, but unfortunately, it's not enough. Meanwhile, Elias goes down to the bottom lane to Boxy and Insania. And then look at the Athletic as well. He has to back himself away. Does have himself a mana void to play with, but doesn't feel like it would be enough damage to bring down Boxy even with that maledict on him. So that's going to be straight up death for the, both the supports on the side of Virtus Pro. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Denied. <laughs> oh, hatred of anti-mage. 
never ceases to amuse, but I mean, I, I do I do agree with the points you make about the heroes. You know, you give him a fantastic lane, and he's like, all right, uh, I'll pay you guys back in about 10 minutes once I go hit some creeps. Meanwhile, Insane here in the bottom lane in a bit of trouble. They will get the disarm out onto the AM to keep him alive a little bit longer, but he will most definitely be falling here. Meanwhile, the Hadouken and the Impotence is onto Boxy. Boxy just wants to TP himself away, realizing that even though there was actually a mana void available on the AM, realizing he wasn't going to be able to get close enough in time, decides to peace out. Meanwhile, Quaif is going for this Aghanim's Rush, something we've been seeing on the Monkey King whenever it does get picked up. This seems to be the most common build. It's very, very strong. Ooh, once again, no bones today. He can't miss. Meanwhile, oh, three man stun out from Mickey there with a beautiful little cookie into this one. Unfortunately, they don't have the damage done this one around Quaif, but he needs to leave. He's going. P not gonna make it, Mickey in some trouble as well as the side of Vertus Pro start chasing him down and they will be able to bring down the snap fire. I mean one of the sidelines is Senia just trying to bring down DM but can't quite 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 the vision there. And with that first speed, he's able to just navigate through the trees away from the Oracle. And now that Oracle is in a whole world of hurt as DM's gonna bring another one down. They lose three on the side off Liquid. Getting violent flashbacks to game number two when they had this kind of smooth laning phase and then Liquid just started turning up to some strange fights and VP started to pull ahead real hard. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Invisibility. Quite curious. I was even with the toying with the idea of maybe some like Dyer's you know playing for the attack. for the multi shot talent. Was it level Radiant's twenty talent? Um, on attack. Mickey. We don't really see anyone doing that, but it could have been fun. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Mm -hmm. What have we here? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is Radiant's under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is fallen. Yep, yeah, it was nearly nice. Until it wasn't. Sonia. Why did you cancelling the TP in the last minute there? Hmm. Well, going to survive. Nice little top back. Oh, that is a beautiful little two play there from Liquid as they get the toss back into the duel under the tower. And Mickey even throws in a singular Mortimer's kiss. <laughs> it's uh, almost like a bad magic kiss, isn't it? Just one kiss on top of him. So, mwah. you die now. Very cute. <laughs> yeah, well. Boxy being run out in the top lane by Aleptic Kid and DM here. Just seems like a uh, some some thorough harassing. I wouldn't really call this a, a gank or a go of any kind. They're just kind of saying hello to their friend. Dyer are scanning. Uh -oh. I have a toss on to the Enchantress. Not quite enough to finish the job though. Enchantress still alive for the time being and now turning around on the target. He's the one who's going to lose his life instead. Down goes the Tiny. Tried to make the play there with the Monkey King and the Tiny, but unfortunately Monkey King means he's so weak at this point that unless there's a really tasty opportunity which presents itself, then it's unlikely that he's going to get involved in these engagements. Just wants to find his eggs. Radiance middle tower. Doesn't want to risk dying attack. that deep. <laughs> this man has doesn't have the patience. Too low creeps, too delicious. Resist, resist quick. <laughs> I think he's waiting for them to show. He's like, all right, well, you know, there's not that many people. Oh, he's going forward and save and Ilya Spring the Trap, but he jumps back across to the trees. They won't be able to chase him into those tree lines, so yeah, Koiko baits it perfectly. Yes. 
Yikes. That's scary. Yeah, I feel like Liquid, you know, now this Battle Fury is online, it's kind of their time to go. They they need to start pressuring the rest of the team, try and pressure the anti-mage a little bit, start owning some of this map because they don't have that farming hero. They've got they've got the monkey king with eggs, which I don't really fancy as a direct matchup into the anti-mage. Meanwhile, Avalanche toss back. That's a nice little play here. Jewel comes out onto the Witch Doctor's kisses on overhead as well. And not the singular kiss. I mean, this is some mafia shit right here for a Mickey's. He's just like sealing it with a kiss of death. Yeah, but he took off way too much that he could chew there. Meanwhile, Boxy on the front line is just turning around and manning up against three heroes here. They're not really doing very well against that. Meanwhile, Koifa comes in, throws down the bounder strike onto the Kunker, controlling him up. Jingu's got to come up on Koifa, but he dodges out the torrent. Meanwhile, nice. Oh, beautiful little avalanche into the cookie, into the war comms command. They're going to be able to take down GPK, but the blink away from in is successful, so Epileptic Kid will survive that one. It's just going to be two kills for the side of Team Liquid. But utilizing a lot of their ultimate it's very, very well here, for sure. Radiant are scanning. Ooh. Tis mine. Excellent. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Wish fulfilled. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, like a lot of people think like, oh, you know, false promise, the best spell for Oracle, but in games like this, this Fate's Edict is 100% um, just as strong. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if there's one thing Epileptic can do, it's hit free. So and my knows how to play PvE. Sure. Alright, is it go time yet? No, I know, right? Okay, we have three timings arriving all within a minute of each other. We, we, we've got the Agon Scepter on the Monkey King, we have the Snapfire with the Guardian Screes, and we have the Blink Dagger on the Legion Commander. There is no way they're going to play. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Oh, no! That's a lot of ulties! That's a lot of mistakes from the side of Team Liquid, beautifully baited by GPK. The Jewel, the Kisses. Oh, man. Now, well, they're looking for revenge here. Divertus Pro. Now, looking to rub some salt into this wound, but a nice little toss back from the side of Tiger. He's in some trouble. They might die for this one as they drop that death ward. Beautiful little death ward of the high ground there to chase back Liquid. Yields out onto Mickey. He could be in some trouble. Can he get off that fire snap cookie? Yes, he can. And the silence immediately purged off as well as he turns around for the snap fire blast. Gonna be controlled up very well. Now, Koifa comes in from the high ground. Drops a pretty nice Wukong's command here. Does he actually turn into this fight though? Or does he just sit on the high ground? It's just a zoning Wukong's command. Get Virtus Pro off their back and it'll give their team the reset. Unfortunately, that is going to mean that, you know, they used all the... Oh, so Insania, really? But he, he, didn't, he didn't save him. He had the spells, didn't he save him? Uh, a duel in the mid lane, though. They're looking for the kill here. They will be able to finally get a dual kill on to save. The boxing now up to 30 damage. The X-Miles comes back. This fight not, but the, it might not be over yet, folks. Yules comes out onto Boxy. They'll both go their separate ways of the river, and this fight will now be over, folks. You can return back to eating your snacks. Ow. Yeah, this is not feeling too good for Tiger. See how they... Mm-hmm. Nothing will stand in my way. Dire structures are fortified. Radiant are scanning. 
Radiance middle tower. Yeah, Coke with the bags and double damage. I mean, that's just Radiant a tower which is going to fall very quickly indeed. I'm wondering, hmm. it's usually when you see Monkey King players sieging towers, they usually get like as close to the tower as they physically can to allow these uh, soldiers to spawn within attacking range of the tower. But I think Koiko is just a bit worried about the blood right. Radiance so. middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, four heroes of Virtus Pro hanging out at top is just saved behind this middle tower. There might be a bit of an engagement here. Two teams looking like they're on a warpath onto each other. Virtus Pro going back to their tier one. Squid still hanging out in that jungle. Oh, they actually just walk around each other. Now there's. Killed by creeps, maybe? No, just out the range of the creep wave. <laughs> yep. Does indeed. Meanwhile, AM finishes off the Manta, picks it up in his base, and is now going to be ready to blow up some heroes. And oh, Mickey, hello! There's a hero. Needs to get himself away here as Athleticin gets on top of him. Yeah, Greaves is available. They jumped in with the duel, trying to get it onto oh, Illusion again! Oh no, Boxy! A second Illusion of Duel off the game. That's not how you want the cookie to crumble. As Quakefer throwing down the ultimate, just kind of tempting that Wukongs and forcing back Virtus Pro. I mean, it's it's not the highest commitment ulti in the world, but it would have been really nice to kill a fan to mage there. Fortunately. Yeah, yeah, now Tiger, he's taking some damage. It looks like the Tiny is going to be going down again, once again. It's only wants to save that ulti for the big targets, but it's so sad just to watch this Tiny dying again and again. Meanwhile, Mickey getting bullied on the back lines. There comes the save, though, from Insania. Wukong's command comes down as well. They've got nothing to keep them inside of this ring, so they are just going to run out of it. And now they look across towards the Conker. They're finally jumping in with the Primal Spring, and they'll be able to bring down the Pirate. And I think that's going to put an end to this fight as they back themselves away on the side of Virtus Pro. They do take a couple of casualties, but all the same, I don't think they're going to be that sad about this, considering they're the team fighting with their anti-mage and every fight that kind of draws to an equal is feeling pretty good for side of Virtus Pro. Meanwhile, Koikva yeeting on forwards here on top of this Witch Doctor. I mean, he's going to get you now. There's your duel. There it is. Boxy finds the uh, consolation duel. It's something. Dyer's middle tower is under oh, yeah? attack. It's just the blade mill and everything, it's just too much damage for the anti mage to handle. Even with just the Legion Commander alone, I'm fairly sure she gets him down to about like 25% HP. And then all you need is a Monkey King or a Mortimer's of Kisses or a more Tiny. There's so many heroes to help make these duels successful. Unfortunately, there's just been some one really nice illusion bait and uh, one just you know, manta into panic from Boxy, unfortunately. Had to make the guess, didn't get it right. He's still a pebble. Yeah. You seemed nice. Sorry. Yep, yeah, she's gonna get a salami sliced up in the top lane by Boxy. That's gonna be a nice easy kill, another bite, chunk of damage. And now they're into Roche. Now they wanna take down the big boy. Shan's gonna be the target. Virtus Pro. Will they have an answer to this? Well, no ping is coming out just yet. They don't seem to be aware. If they are, they're not interested. Liquid here is they will be able to take down this Roshan and get themselves an Aegis on Koifa, who has now got a Desolator, Aghanims, Aegis, heading towards BKB at a decent timing. He's catching up with his AM somehow. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Illusion! Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. That's true. Both kind of want to target the back lines, I think. Bottom tower is under attack. Radiance top tower has fallen.
Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. At the same time, I do kind of like it into the Monkey King and Oracle lineup. You know, it's just the ability to stop these heals coming through so much. <laughs> True. Teammate coming through, Mickey, he's got the Aghanims, throws the Tiny forward onto the Witch Doctor, there comes a duel, and they will dispatch Avilius very quickly indeed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got a boat thrown in his head, but they just TP away, yeah, they see the Aegis on the monkey and just like, yeah, see ya. Yeah. No, he wouldn't have. Very nice indeed, yeah. Like the, they're gonna be left empty-handed after that one, but they still get themselves at least to kill onto the Witch Doctor, as Liquid continue to keep up the pace in this game. Still behind, there is still this anti-mage just farming up all over the place, but as we've mentioned before, you know, it's, it's gonna take more than usual for this anti-mage to be a real force in this game. You need to be uh, about an item ahead. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're gonna wait the awkward way. Okay. Oh, 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 there it comes. There's a jewel. There we go. Finish the job. A couple of spells being used. Ah, uh, okay. A little bit close, but. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 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 very nerve wracking. I like the way it's tiny. It's just like, eh, I don't need a blink. I've I've, I've got a uh, I've got my own <laughs> method of transport. Exactly. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Tiny Airlines is uh, it's like 2019. In 2020, it's all about snap air. Radiant structures are fortified. There is very good. Radiance middle tower. If the patch would have a title, I think I might choose that because it's it's the most fun factor of the patch for sure. Seeing heroes flying across the map in every direction. Oh, toss back onto the Kunker. That's a very nice catch from Tiger here. Can they do the job with GPK? But the Mortis Kiss is coming through over the top, but he's pretty fast. But doesn't matter. And beautiful sun comes out from Koikva. Save and GPK just die very, very quickly. But meanwhile, Epileptic in the back lines, he's causing a bit of havoc because he's taken down Insania. Tiger does die in the front. And now Epileptic Kid goes itself back. But a beautiful little toss across over onto Epileptic Kid. It's not going to result in a kill, however, it's helped to get himself back with the help of the Witch Doctor. But still, really nice um, instant reactions there from Mickey. Must have picked him up and thrown him at almost like the same moment as the blink came through. Really, really quick from Mickey. Radiant's Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, quite enough attack. to result in the kill on CAM, but scary stuff for this anti mage. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Ooh, I'll have to come back here. Nerd, they stay in the bottom lane as they bring down Epileptic Kid instantly. Oh no, he thought he was safe. Meanwhile, at top, Witch Doctor's just getting turned into sliced ham by old Mr. Koikfa. However, maybe could be in some trouble. Ah, uh, never mind, BKB. Bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> <laughs> Not so safe harbor, eh? 
too hard. It's too damn difficult. Team Liquid now besieging the enemy base. Feeling very, very confident just to sit here with Quake, but you know, even if he just spends a few seconds up on this high ground, getting those soldiers out, it's gonna do so much damage to this tower. Hello? Oh. in the ass, that's for sure. He's doing a really nice job in predicting the movements here, but Tiger once again with a blink back, throw back on to the save. He's gonna lose his life. The Enchantress shall fall. Another one for the back of the Team Liquid. Jumping forwards, found the strike to follow as well. DPK though, getting back, and Epileptic gets on top of this tiny. Okay, Tiger probably losing his life up here as the rest of the team liquid trying to back themselves away, but unfortunately, Botty, not quite so lucky. Even with the BKB, he's gonna get finished yes. off as well. Down goes two. What dragged him back into that fight? Was that a blink? Even you should have seen that coming. Or an X mark, I'm not too sure. Shot. Straight to the bottom, with you. Your Admiral is on board. Save very quick to uh, fly back into that and just give them the extra bit of force they needed, possibly throwing out an enchant to grab themselves that extra possible kill. And now Vladis Pro 2 here is dead again. Let's try and put some pressure onto top. Ooh, bounty! This will come in here. and full ahead. Do they see him? They see him. Oh, trying to cast the X Mark, trying to cast the turret. They will actually land it here, but the cookie's gonna come through, try and keep Insane here alive. He's gonna try and put the Shadow Amulet, but unfortunately it's not enough. He is gonna go down. No buyback either, so they're gonna have to fight without him here if they do want to fight at all. Tiger go for the TP away, cancelled out by the Mana Void. They'll bring down Tiger as well. Two heroes dead. Yeah, get on that high ground, Virtus Pro. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. And two minutes. Dyer are scanning. <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. I think so too. I think so too. He's very close as well. He's got 300 gold off it. Play the bottom side of the map. Honestly, Vetus Pro don't get anything for this. Do you, do you think they should have gone high ground? Yeah. And they go, they find GPK on the front lines. Can they bring him down in time? It looks like they can. The duel come through and the Conga comes down. GPK out of the fight, but he does buy back into this one. Boxy looking over towards Epileptic in here. Of course, they have no duel anymore, so he has to run himself away, but ruptured up. Not really possible to do so. Now the heal comes out from the Oracle as they look across towards Santi Mage. Taking so much damage. They come in with the Avatos combination. Is it going to be enough though? They turn around to rip into the Legion Commander, making sure she goes down. Now looking over towards Tiger as well as the X marks out onto Mikke. He's thrown out of position. Bird is probably on the warpath right now. Quick with the BKB trying to turn it around, but it's one man against five. Is this really going to work? I'm not sure. A lot of soldiers being spawned. Senia helping out from the high ground as well. They're going to try and make it back onto the safe land. And they can't actually keep fighting here, Virtus Pro. Everybody's so low on HP, and these statues are a real pain to try and fight into. So Quake is actually going to be able to repel the forces of Virtus Pro and force the reset. Dyer's top tower is under attack.
Yeah, I mean, it could be considered a slight overcommitment onto GPK, perhaps, because, you know, that was Duel, it was Mortimer's Kisses, it was Wukong's Command. Pretty much everything at their disposal went the way of him, but then again, you know, it is Conker. You need to kill him in that Duel timer, otherwise you've got a real issue. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. No, I feel like the kid. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's nothing to mess around with. Also, by the way, Epileptic Kid, I don't know if you mentioned this, but he uh, changed from Scardi to uh, Bissell Blade, which he has now finished up. Yeah. Oh, he jumps into open here. I mean, immediately the duel comes down to the backlines on to save, so try to bring down the Enchantress nice and quickly. Won't be able to do so, though, as they control that Foxy really nicely because he didn't pop that BKB. Meanwhile, it's saying he gets killed on the backlines by Epileptic Kid. That means no Oracle. That means the fight is probably over. But Koikva, he's trying to stand his ground, popping that Wukong's command. Has a BKB at his disposal, but I don't think he wants to use it here as Ilias does get killed off by Tiger on the side, utilizing the zoning provided by Koikva. Meanwhile, GPK, did he get the X marks off onto that tiny? Looks like he didn't. I think he's going to be okay. Mickey, though, he was killed off in the back. That is another big kill for the side of Virtus Pro as Anti Mage gets himself another. Structures are fortified. Radiant structures are fortified. Link and Abyssal onto Tiger, scaring them off here. They don't want to overcommit because they know that Blink Duel is available from Legion at the same time. So if they lose anyone back, then this could spell problems with the Heaven Talbot. Now into the Monkey King from the Conker. He's happy to come forward here, though. They managed to jump in. They try and go for the duel onto the AM, but it doesn't come off in time. I think the Lincoln's blocked it. And now, well, Koifer and Boxy both caught inside that boat here. Koifer trying to turn around and try and fight up into this one. Is he going to be able to heal up enough with that Jenku just about? But the rupture's on him, and they're going to blow him up with a mana void. And now, Apple Lentigan gets on top of Insania. Buyback comes out from the Monkey King and from the Snapfire, who only had a couple of seconds left, but they know they need to fight. They know they need this combo. Throwing the Monkey King forwards, trying to bring this Antimage down for a second time. They combo it up with a cookie, and it will kill off the AM. But it's a big cost to bring him down. Maybe they can get DM as well. They do indeed. Fortune's end comes on top of the Blood King. He's dead as well. Sorry, Blood uh, Seeker, not the Blood King, as he gets killed off by the Monkey and by Boxy. And well, I mean, it cost them a lot, but they do defend this high ground. Now, what is the play? I think they need some buybacks here on the side of Team Liquid. Pick it up, Mortimer. It is for blood. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Tiger, oh, he steps forward very far here. However, they're very, very scared to try and commit this one as Tiger's going to lose his life. And the rupture comes through. Both going to connect as well. They get the duel out onto the Enchanted Enchanted. She doesn't care. She's tanking the duel. They don't even bring down the edge. She's going to be able to limp herself away from this one. Mortimus Kiss is coming out over the top as well. Save runs himself away from the high ground. They are out. Ultimate's committed. But yeah, he's so tanky. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle barracks has fallen. It's... yeah. I mean, that that is the best place scenario for Vettus Pro. I can't believe Save survived that though. Like, even though with Boat, even though with everything, with the, with the Glimmer Cake, like, Save is somehow super tanky with, like, very few items. to deal with too much uh mickey oh interesting okay mickey has finally decided that he's going to transition into this carry build he's uh got the level 20 little shredder use your attack damage got that chrysalis so the style where things start to get a little bit spicy for the snap fire as we start to see it move in a different direction mm -hmm. we're jumping forward yeah 
It's, it's just, just not, not fair. Oh. Sania. He doesn't know. He's... Send everyone send your brain waves the way of Insania right now, guys. Come on, we could do it. Oh no, 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 our brain waves weren't strong enough. Yeah, they saw that creep wave die at mid as well. They know what's up. Scanning. Radiant are scanning. Yeah. It's very interesting seeing what the teams think the other team is doing in these situations. Dyer's you know, middle with the creeps attacking the high ground, they need to do something about this, unfortunately. So, uh, Liquid, you know, they, they are unable to find anything with this movement across, but they do get themselves a couple of neutral items, they get themselves an outpost back, and they get themselves the top side of the map. So, gosh, a very tense game, though. How do you see these next couple of fights playing out? Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. <laughs> it's four protect one, but not in the way we know Radiant's it. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Okay. Use this tape. <laughs> yeah, Boxy, he does like these little- Oh no, oh no, 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 he's done it again! Oh, Boxy pops everything on the illusion for another time as the goes to back line, but it doesn't matter! Athletic is gonna lose his life anyway! Okay, so bait on bait's going on here, never mind. Boxy running forwards now, getting healed up, but he doesn't really care. I mean, he's a happy man. He just got himself a kill on CAA. Fair enough. Jump forwards here, meanwhile just cannonballing Koifer on top of Ilias. Ilias is gonna die, as is save. What the? What, how did that work? This one's afternoon is it doesn't play back. How did that work? Damn. Boxy proving the haters wrong with the bait on bait on bait. I mean, I, I, I'm just you know, he definitely thought that AM was real, but I mean, Liquid is able to counter react so damn well to the AM just getting too over ambitious, and well, they're on the tier fours. How? How can they do it? Yeah, they've got one. They're going to use it on the throne right now, but they've dropped down the Wukongs, trying to just take down the building. Quite for focusing on the Ancient. Can they do anything about this? GPK's coming in, but the BKB is up, but they managed to get off to the Zarm, along with the Yules. Chain them up together. Probably not ideal as GPK loses his life, and there's a GG pop. They've done it. Liquid take down Virtus Pro in the second place position in this critical game. They will dig deep, and they will find the victory here in game number three.